Hello everyone, I'm a Morel fan. Welcome to the history and lore of the layout. This video I'll talk about the history of my layout, the Amtrak subdivision. One thing to note is that this is from the perspective of the layout, not the physical layout building. Now let's get into this, starting at the beginning. Our story starts in October 2017. The newly formed Southern Short Line ran trains around the city of Lancaster, aiding in its construction. Aiding in its construction. The locomotive for these trains was X Southern 260 number 7080. At the same time, a crew of workers were building the rest of the main line. By the end of 2017, the main line was completed and trains now ran to Strasbourg and through the wilderness and by a lake. A yard was also built in Strasbourg and given the name Duval Yard. At the beginning of 2018, the Southern Short Line purchased a new locomotive, X Boston and Maine GP7 number 1567. The Short Line then renamed themselves to the Boston and Maine Short Line. This almost left 7080 without a job, but the Short Line assigned the engine to their passenger trains and used 1567 for their freight. This power structure would end in mid-2018. Amtrak was starting a proposal to run trains on the line. The proposal was accepted, and the Boston and Maine Short Line would have to start supplying power to Amtrak trains. With Amtrak now running, 7080 was left without a job. This is when the Southern Heritage Railway stepped in and purchased 7080 and all the passenger equipment from the Boston and Maine Short Line. With the equipment, they started to run scenic trains around the main line based out of Lancaster. Through the rest of the year, Amtrak gained equipment for the line and ran more and more trains. This hit a point when at the beginning of 2019, Amtrak purchased an ACS 64, number 607. This replaced 1567, which was still being used for all passenger and freight trains at this time. In July 2019, Royal Fan came to town and decided to start a video series filming trains in the greater Lancaster area. This series is called HO Trains. These videos brought popularity to the line and ridership saw an uptick. In late 2019, Amtrak started to receive new Heritage Bud equipment. These cars replaced the original cars used on the trains. One of these cars was an ex-PRR coach. The coach was immediately sold to a private owner for use as a private car. Around this time, Lancaster took a poll and the decision was made to rename the city to Ashland, which is labeled on their new water tower. Also in early 2019, 20, Amtrak bought more cars and re retired all of its original cars. It was also around this time they started running more trains with different consists and different stopping patterns. Starting in early 2020, CSX wanted in on the freight business on the line. They put out a plan to purchase the Boston and Maine Short Line. This was approved by the Short Line, but not by the STB. B&M 1567 was given CSX patches but the patches were removed in mid-2020 when the deal was finalized. Also in 2020, the Southern Heritage Railway bought the old Strasbourg station for use as a railway office and a new boarding location for its scenic trains. Though, the dinner train still leads from Ashland to this day. It is now mid-2020, and the main line is getting overcrowded with all the trains running. So, a project was enacted to double-track the entire line of a crossover just west of Duval Yard. The second track was owned by Amtrak, with the original line owned by the B&M Short Line. We now take a jump to early 2021. The station in Ashland was in need of a rebuild, so the project was started and a new station was built in Ashland. Around the same time, the Southern Heritage Railway was low on money and struggling with the pandemic. The B&M Short Line jumped in and purchased the Southern Heritage Railway to save them from going out of business. The Southern Heritage is now owned by the Boston and Maine Short Line but it ran as a separate railroad. All the offices for both railroads are now in the old Strasbourg station. In late 2021, the PRR coach was put up for sale and purchased by the newly formed PRR Preservation Society. The society runs trains using the PRR coach and equipment borrowed from Amtrak. In early 2022, the B&M Short Line embraced their Boston and Maine heritage by renumbering all their trains to numbers similar to those used on the B&M system. Around the same time, the short line purchased the second main line and now owns all the track. Also, CSX and the Boston Main Short Line finished the an agreement for operations. For years, CSX has been using 1567 to pull CSX trains. However, a bigger engine is now needed to pull the longer trains. So the decision was made for the B&M just to buy a second 
locomotive, and in early 22, they officially took over all freight operations from CSX. The engine is currently on order and will be delivered in early 2023. In March 2022, the BNM Shortline was approached by the Via Rail Canada with an offer for them to run trains over the BNM system and into Ashland. The BNM accepted the offer, and in September 2022, Via Rail took delivery of its first car for this service, a Skyline Dome, with more equipment planned to be purchased in the future for expanded service. We have now reached the present day and the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please tell me your thoughts in the comments section down below and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. This video was a long time in the making and it was really interesting and fun trying to piece together everything that has happened on the layout in the last five years. There is more to come for the layout in the next few years and with that I will talk to you guys in the next video.